the truck then was making that sound and you can hear while it was driving and of course the problem was here the differential needed to be removed um, here we can see all the debris metal chase being the guard basically the differential completely destroyed um, and uh, you may wonder why this problem happened well it turns out then this differential right here ran without oil very low oil for a long time and that caused the problem um, of course uh, it, the differential is completely broken now uh, the cat is supervising the differential too it's telling me that uh, we need to do something about it uh, you wanna come check it out too you wanna explain why it's going on it's looking some for something to eat as well anyway um, can you see the shape of the differential looks a little sharp see some missing pieces on top here 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 and a lot of play you can hear that play because the ring gear is completely wear out and also that one too uh, so they both of them were around after so much uh, driving with no lubrication the color of the oil is completely brown like the oil was bad like old or maybe it was mixed with water or rust or whatever um, and also we have a broken power divider so this is the power divider right here air is applied see we, we can see some air in it I mean water I don't know if you can see the water but there is water in that so definitely there was water inside here anyway uh, the power divider is the one then uh, split the power between the front axle which is that one and the rear axle so uh, you get power in both wheels if you are spinning the rear ones the front ones are going to get power as well straight power from the from the dry line so this one see you can hear it it's completely straight inside so the differential is completely over completely destroyed it's gone and um, this is something that can happen to anybody at any moment so the best way to prevent this problem is by inspecting your uh, differential oil level uh, you can see the shape the pointy tooth on each one is because of the wear of the uh, not lubrication problem then it happened um, anyway uh, so uh, so if you have this problem the first thing you have to do is uh, uh, replace the differential there is no way you're going to be able to drive your truck no um, um, for a longer period of time so if you hear the noise be sure to stop the truck to the nearest repair shop and then uh, replace the differential uh, that will save you thousands of dollars because in some other videos in some other cases uh, I see uh, the housing then brakes on the side somewhere over here because of any of the gears just pops out and releases the the gear with force and it breaks the housing in that case when that happens the housing is no good which means then the core of the differential is no good so the uh, price of the uh, repair is going to increase drastically because you cannot return this as a good core uh, you have to pay the core unless you buy any use if you buy any use you don't have to think about the core price but some uh, companies ask for the core some uh, pick apart or LKQ they lie to use for the core I don't know why but they ask for it all the time but if that's the case this core is not gonna work anyway uh, I think that is something that you guys gotta pay attention to uh, if in case uh, you are driving your truck and you hear that noise and I said before 
uh, stop and check the dry land and make, see, make sure that the dry land stays steady. Like it has to have play, but the play to the point that it goes like maybe like two degrees to the right, two degrees to the left, and that's it. It doesn't go more than that. But if you go like 10 degrees to the right, 10 degrees to the left, you have a big problem with differential. And that's it. The best way is to tow it. Um, if you can, if you want to drive it, just be sure to be careful. Go with lower speed. Don't uh, abuse it because it can break. And then when it breaks, you are completely stuck there. There's, there's no way you want to be able to move the truck after the differential breaks. So you have to tow it after that. But uh, those are things that you have to pay attention to. But uh, anyway, uh, in this case, uh, the repair for this truck will be to look for a differential. Um, in this, uh, and uh, if you want to know what's the differential ratio, uh, we have here the ratio, those numbers, 40, 13, those 40, 13, those are the ratio numbers, which means 40 divided uh, 13, and that will give you uh, the num the real number of the differential. In this case, this differential is a 307 differential. Uh, but uh, it varies in some numbers, so you cannot just buy any differential and install the differential and, and that will solve the problem. You have to be sure that you are using the same ratio if you're buying a used one or you're buying a rebuilt one. Still, you have to be sure that you're using the same ratio because if you use a different ratio differential, you're going to have problems on the power uh, distribution and that is going to destroy the differential as well because the, the wheels are going to speed at the same speed as they used to do but the differential is not going to speed and, uh, spin at the same speed and that is going to create problems and plus the uh, uh, truck is not going to have the power they used to have maybe it's going to be a little slower or a little faster and that is going to create different problems than you didn't have before so that is the reason why it's very important to pay attention to these things Over, overall i mean like a, uh there is nothing else to do when it comes to inspecting this truck um other things that we need to inspect right now then the uh differential is out we need to go to the back uh, which is the rear differential and we need to do a uh, service to this differential we need to replace the fluids uh, and that uh, is uh, something uh, we must do. Now then, uh, I'm inspecting this truck, I see something else, a different problem, which is the Baron shock absorber bracket is broken. You see how it's sideways to the side, and that over there is broken, that piece over there is broken. So it's supposed to be like this, see, straight, like this one. So if we go underneath, we're gonna see the broken piece. That's the reason why it's important to inspect your truck. Uh, somewhere in there, it's pretty hard to see it because it is in there. Oh yeah, right here. Uh, yeah, right there, you can see it's broken. So now that I see that, I didn't see that before, but see uh it's important to inspect your truck go around the truck because if a dot officer sees that they are going to pull you out of service with no questions asked and that is going to cost you a lot of money and uh, why we need to spend money over the road when we can just repair the truck over here at the shop anyway uh this is what i have for you today i went to share, share this video with you guys and uh uh, later I'm gonna do more videos like this. So anyway, uh, if you have anything else to add to this video comment section below in the description of this video I have details on how to contact me and uh, You can uh, uh, Share it like the video subscribe to the channel is very important. Thank you for watching and expect more videos like this in the future So don't let this happen to your truck. Okay, pay attention to your truck all the time and uh, if you just bought a used truck Make sure to check the differential level, transmission level, all change and all that. Alright, see you later.